In this video, I will talk about a standard visitor visa for UK. If you want to travel to UK for uh, tourism purpose, this video is for you. This will be a step by step guide how to fill a standard visitor visa form. So let's begin. The first thing that you need to do is that you need to type a standard visitor visa UK on Google uh, and you need to click on this link. Once you click on this link, this page will be displayed. You need to find the which ones, which one is for you. So since we are doing for standard visitor visa, we'll apply for a standard visitor visa. Click on this. It will take you to this page. Over here, it will have in detail the different types of visitor visa with different fees and different length of stay. So if you want a normal standard visitor visa, it will cost you £100 and the validity will be 6 months. However, you have a stand long term standard visitor visa for 2 years, 5 years, 10 years also. But the cost of each one of them will differ. Once you identify which, ones, which one works best for you, you can move on with your application and apply. Once you click on ap apply, they will ask you the which language uh, you are most comfortable with. You can select English. However, if, uh, if any other language you are, in, you are comfortable with, you can select that one also. Since I am comfortable with English, I will be selecting English. Now this part they will ask you about the biometric location. So biometric basically means the fingerprints and facial photograph of you that they will take. And uh, since I am applying from India, my location will be India. And I'll move with my application. So now they are asking you to check if there is biometric location uh, visa application center available in your location or not. So since I have selected India, I will click on find a visa application center and this page will be displayed. I will see that if uh, like uh, I have already checked and I saw that uh, for India these many locations uh, visa application center is available and one of these is Kolkata which happens to be my location so since I have identified that uh, visa application center is available in my city I'll uh, I'll type I have identified the location where I will provide my biometrics so even if suppose uh, you are you are from Kolkata in India and suppose visa application center is not available in Kolkata but uh, it is available in Mumbai or Delhi so you can go to another city for your biometrics once you identify the location, you can move with your application. You can read this and then uh, now you can start your application. Now you will need to provide your email address. So for the purpose of this video, I assume my email is So once you complete this, you will need to provide your password. Remember the password should be should follow these rules. Now you can save and continue. Now they are asking me that uh, if this email address belongs to me. Yes, it does. So I'll select you and move forward uh, this is step they are asking me that do I have any additional email address if you have any additional email address you can mention that for the purpose of this video let's assume that I don't have any additional email address I'll save and continue uh, they are asking us for our telephone number so I'll give my telephone number you should give your own telephone number I'll use this telephone number while I'm in UK. I'll also use this telephone number while I'm outside of UK. So if uh, you have any other alternative telephone number that you are going to use in UK, you can mention that. So for this one, you can just mention while use uh, for use whilst out of UK. And then you can give mobile telephone number. This is my mobile telephone number. And after that, they'll ask you for your other telephone number. So you can give the number maybe you that you're going to use in UK. And or if you don't have one, you use only the one number and uh, that will be valid in both UK and India. That should be the first one. Uh, then that is fine. For this question, you can select no. I don't have any other telephone numbers. Move ahead. 
दिस इज आस्किंग यू हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट देम टू रीच यू सो इफ यू वॉन्ट देम टू कॉल यू यू कैन सेलेक्ट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट देम टू टेक्सट यू यू कैन सेलेक्ट द थर्ड ऑप्शन I prefer like they can call me as well as they can text me. So I am selecting the first one. I'll save and continue. Now they are asking me my own details. What is my name? So for the purpose of read this video, let's assume my name is Dan, and my family name, which means my surname, is Smith. I'll save and continue. You should give your own name. uh this question is asking me that uh, do i have any other name or were uh, uh, like in addition to the names already provided or have i ever been known by any other name so this question mostly uh, is applicable to people who have changed their names for example women they uh, sometimes they do change their name after marriage so they can uh, give their the name that they had previous to being married so i have not changed my name so i'll provide no and i'll save and continue you should select accordingly i am male i'm selecting male if you're female uh, you should select accordingly i am single i'm selecting single if you are married you can select married ha uh, this is uh, the part where we give our address so this should be your home address so assume for this video my address is this and i'm living in kolkata and my state is west bengal so this is some for some of you you may call it province or region so give accordingly uh my postal code is this for some of you in some countries maybe this is not applicable so if it is applicable for you you can provide it and uh, i am from india so this is basically asking me that uh, uh, the address that i have provided is it my correspondence address as well which means that uh, uh, if they want to contact me should they reach uh, me uh, on this address in my case yes it is my correspondence address so i'll save and continue so this question is asking me uh, how long i have lived at this address for me i have lived there as long as i can remember So I'll give twenty uh, eight years, but uh, some of you uh, who have lived uh, for like uh, in the address for two years or three years, you should give according to your own situations. Now the next question is that they are asking me, uh, do I own that house? Do I rent it, or do I live with my relatives or friends? So in my case, since I own it, I am giving I own it. But if you live with your friends or relatives, uh you should you can give other which and then they will ask you to explain the situation you can tell them like this, this is your ancestral property and you are living with your parents or your relatives but if you own it if you rent it you can give accordingly uh since i own it i will give i own it save and continue okay so you need to mention years so 28 years save and continue so this is your passport information so you need to give your passport information uh the place that it was issued the country that it was issued some of you it must have been mentioned country of issue or place of issue for me it is place of place of issue kolkata i'll mention that uh date passport date so this question is basically when and what they should date of your passport this also must be mentioned in your passport you can check that and you can type accordingly expiration date my expiration date of passport is 2031 for the purpose of this video you should look at your own passport and you should give your own information save and continue your identity card do you have a valid national identity card i have so i'll type yes so this national identity card especially for indians this could be your aadhar card so you can give your aadhar information but if you look at these details they are asking for issue date if applicable expiry date if applicable so i believe your passport uh, is also a valid identity card so you can give your passport information also so we can provide our passport information here also
authority uh, will be uh, Kolkata. It must be mentioned in your passport so you can see the place of issue or country of issue and uh, type whichever uh, is mentioned. Issue date it will again be mentioned in your passport and expiration date it will also be mentioned in your passport. So once you type all these you can save and continue. Now this is section is asking me my country of nationality. I am an Indian so I will type India you select accordingly. Country of birth I was born in India so if you were born in India type India else select uh, accordingly. Place of birth so in my case it is say Kolkata in your case it could be different select accordingly type accordingly date of birth now for example I was born in 1994 you can select accordingly so this is asking me that do I have any other nationality other than the one that I currently hold that is of India answer in my case is no but if you have any other nationality you can type yes uh, what is your employment status I am employed so you can type employed if you are employed if you are doing your own business you can type self-employed if you are a student yet you can type a student retired or if you don't have any employment you can simply type click on select unemployed So here I will have to give my employer's name which is the company that I am working for for the sake of this video let's assume that I am working for Dan Holdco. My employer address for the sake of this video says in Kolkata therefore I will give 223 Kolkata as the address. If you don't have, uh, if you are not uh, employed, this section will not come for you. If you select unemployed previously or if you select retired, this is only for people who are employed. So we need to give our employer information. So they are asking me when I started working for this employer. So suppose I was started working for it in the month of January in 2020. Uh, my job title list says senior consultant. And for the sake of this video, let's assume I make 50,000 per month after tax describe your job it is asking me what are the roles and duties of my job as a say for example as a senior consultant uh, i look for look to help client solve their problem uh, and i uh, work with uh, other junior consultants and i train them accordingly uh, uh, you can describe your own job and uh, briefly describe it and then we can save and continue so if you earn income from any other source uh, which which is regular in nature you can click on other regular income and you can uh, click on these if this is investment you can click on investment if it is another income you can click on another income and how whatever amount that you are getting from uh, whatever in invest income that you are generating from that investment or that income you can type it here so they will give you option whether it is in pound or Indian national rupees since I don't have any other regular income I'm not selecting this I just have savings so I'm selecting this so they are asking you how much savings you have in pounds so you whatever savings say if you have in your own national currency for example in rupees so you can uh, you can use google to identify how much that comes in pounds for example i have uh, 5000 pounds as saving so i'll type 5000 pounds 
and they will ask you for proof of this so you should have any should have documentation to prove that you have this much saving this could be your bank account obviously and if you don't have any saving you can simply click on i do not have any other income or savings save and continue So this is asking you how much money you plan to invest in your travel and this, uh, this include your accommodation, your uh, flights and your everyday expenses. So, uh, this depends actually on how long do you plan to stay. If you plan to stay for a week or a two week accordingly you can give uh, uh, your budget. For example I plan to spend 2 lakhs. So I will type 2 lakhs. So see this question is very straightforward related to our previous question where they asked us for our savings. If you don't have 2 lakhs in savings and if you plan to invest and in, spend 2 lakhs in UK then that is a red flag to the uh, visa guy. They will uh, most probably reject your application considering that you don't have enough sufficient fund in order to finance your visit. Now you can save and continue. Now this is asking me my uh, monthly expenses that I have. So since if you remember I mentioned like my after tax money is 50,000. So obviously if my monthly expense is more than 50,000 then I have, most probably I am taking loans or something. So uh, you should mention how much your monthly spend is. Your rent, mort mortgage and other costs. For example in my case my monthly expense is 30k. So I'm typing 30k, 30,000 Indian national rupees and we can save and continue. In my case nobody is paying so I will know for my visit I'm the one who is paying so I'll click save and continue. You can select accordingly. So this is asking me uh, about my date that I have planned to arrive in the UK. Remember that you have still not you have still not received visa. So this information obviously you can uh, put your tentative date uh, depending on uh, when you receive visa. So for me the, my tentative date of arrival in the UK for example say is um, April. So I'll type 10 April 2023. And I plan, plan to leave UK 17 April 2023. You can uh, type the date accordingly depending on when you plan to visit. Uh, I prefer English but if you prefer any other language uh, you want uh, uh, them to contact you and they want them to reach out to you in. So you can type for example if you want uh, Hindi you can type Hindi. I am comfortable with English therefore I have selected English. I will save and continue now. So they are asking you for your reason to visit. So uh, there are a lot of reasons that you can select uh, if you want this uh, visa because you are frequently tr uh, transiting by UK. So you can select transit through the UK. Or for any other reasons, but for in my case, obviously, I am I am selecting it for tourism purpose, so I will select tourism. I'll save and continue. If you are going there to visit family, obviously self-explanatory. But as uh, right now, I'm going as a tourist, so I'll select tourism. Save and continue. Okay, so this is asking you what you plan to do when you arrive in London. So you can type that you can, you want to see historical places, museums, you want to see London and uh, accordingly it is self-explanatory. Whatever you plan to do, historical places and museum. Okay, 
so it could be different also it uh, depending on person to person so make sure that uh, whatever your uh, whatever you want to do there so you should type that and then you can save and continue so this is basically asking you do you have any dependent on you uh, if if you are a bachelor if you are single most probably you wouldn't have any dependent on you so you can type no but uh, if you have any dependent if you have if you have wife or if you have children you can type yes if you have aging parents you can type yes so once you type yes you will have to give information of those dependents if say for the sake of this video i don't have any dependents i will give no and click save and continue so now they are asking you in details of your parents so say i'm giving my mother's information so for example her name is mariam These are self-explanatory. I am giving a date of birth and nationality. Yes, they are asking like, has she always been Indian? So the answer is yes. I will save and continue. Now since I have given my mother information, I need to give my father information. For the sake of this video, let's assume his name is Adam Smith. And he was born in 1970 he's also an indian and he also has all have always held the same nationality so now this question is asking you if uh, you have any family members in uk in my case it is no if you have anyone you can type yes save and continue uh, will you be traveling to UK as a part of an organized group, for example, uh, some study group or for some uh, sports group? I am selecting no. You can select accordingly. So, are you traveling to UK with someone who is not yours? So, partner, spouse, or dependent. So, if you are traveling with friend, you can type yes. Else, you can type no. If you're traveling alone or if you're traveling with a partner, spouse or dependent, you can type no. So this is asking you, do you have an address where you will be tra uh, staying in the UK? So you can type yes if you have a family or friends or relatives or if you have uh, already booked a hotel. So you can type yes, else you can type no. So now they are asking you where do you plan to stay in UK. So you can give uh, hotel information or any friend information uh, address where you plan to stay. For example, I will give some hotel name ABC Hotel. I have never been to UK so I will type no. If you have been in UK in past, type yes. So this is asking you have you have you ever been to these countries in the past 10 years australia canada new zealand usa switzerland economic european economic area you can look at what uh, countries are part of this area clicking on this link since i have never been to any of these countries for example i'll select zero however if you have been to any of these countries say for between two to five times in past 10 years you can select two to five times save and continue world travel history so this is asking you that have you ever been to any country other than the countries that we have already discussed about like other than these countries for example if you were if you have been to dubai you can type uae you can type yes and then you can type uae but if you have never been to any of those countries also if you have never been outside your home country you can type no and you can save and continue So this is asking you basically have you ever been refused a visa for either UK or for any country for example you applied for US visa 
and uh, that got uh, rejected so you can type uh, yes and you can give the details that you uh, your us visa was refused else you can type no so this is basically asking you have you ever entered the uk illegally uh, remain the UK beyond the validity of your visa since I have never been outside of India for the sake of this video I'll type no but uh, if any of these applies to you you should type yes at any time have you ever had any of the following in the UK or in another country so they are asking me have I ever had criminal conviction uh, penalty for driving offense for example disqualification for speeding or no motor insurance any for arrest or charge or awaiting trial out of court penalty a civil court judgment penalty issued under uk immigration law so in my case i've never had any of these so i'll select no you can uh, select accordingly so this section is about war, war crimes so you should click on this link and you should read about uh, this before answering so in i uh, so have you ever been uh, suspect of or involved in war crimes crimes against humanity or genocide no i have not so once you read the, this you can click on this part and you can move forward so terrorist activities similarly you need to click on this and read about it so have you ever been involved no terrorist organization click read terrorism no uh, justify or glorify terrorist no so once you click on those links and read you can save and continue again click on it and read support to extremism no extremist views no should read all of this carefully because i'm uh, doing it for what applies to me but this could uh, differ subject to person to person so you should read it carefully and you should select accordingly save and continue uh, on behalf of non-uk government which you know to be dangerous to the interest of national security of the uk or its allies no no i have never been part of something that uh, uh, may suggest that i'm not a person of good character hence no so is there any other information about your character or behavior which you would like to make us aware of so basically if you want to tell them about something about your character you should select yes and give further details and if no you should type no again read these questions carefully and uh, this should be this these all depends on uh, person to person so you should read them now save and continue have you ever worked for any of the following types armed force no armed force no government no intelligence service security organization media judiciary in my case i've never worked for any of these save and continue so so this uh, this is basically additional information so if anything that they have the, the questions that they have asked and if anything that you were not able to tell them you can type it over here for example you can tell them uh, the reason why you are coming uh, you can tell them about uh, uh, if you don't have sufficient fund why you don't have sufficient fund if you have more investment you can type that uh, or those kind of details you can put in over here so if you want for uh, this uh, visa for transit purpose for if you travel frequently via london you can type that you can mention that you have a, a job in say cayman island or bermuda and uh, you frequently fly uh, transit via london so you need it for at least two years the visa so you can type all those details you can save and continue Take a careful look at all the answers that we have given uh, in your case that you would be giving and once you are sure that uh, the answers uh, that you have given is correct you can continue so this is basically asking you about the documents so the passport is a mandatory document that you must provide the vfs center 
visa center application center other than passport there are other funds also that you should provide for example uh, this is your uh, this should be your bank account statement and uh, any uh, additional documents that you wish to provide you can provide that also save and continue so these are the visitor conditions that you should read, uh, read carefully that if you violate the, uh, these are the uh, you can be detained you can be prosecuted so once you read the, these you can understand and accept these conditions save and continue so uh, i uh, i am applicant aged 18 or over so i'm so clicking that you should read it if you're a parent or legal guardian uh, completing and submitting the form on behalf uh, of your child you can select these and if you're submitting on behalf uh, on, on the behalf if you're submitting the form on behalf of the applicant you should type this i'm the applicant so i'll type this confirm okay so now choose the length of your visit visa so i am applying for a standard long term visitor visa of 2 years so i'll click 2 years save and continue so they are asking me to pay this amount uh, since i am uh, since i am selecting for 2 year visit visa so depending on the visa that you are selecting this amount can change obviously and uh, the decision most people get decision within 15 working days this could take longer subject to uh, uh, how much uh, people are applying and how much processing time it takes so once you save and continue you can make payment obviously i am not moving forward from here because uh, i just created this video to show you so once you complete this step the next step would be uh, they will send you an email you will have the link for vfs you can schedule your appointment from vfs and you can um, select for any additional service from vfs that you may want to have for example for the call or text message service and uh, and yes you can submit your documents uh, on the vfs uh, website itself because i submitted it uh, and if you don't submit on the VFS website, uh, you may select for uh, submitting documents uh, on the Visa Application Center. Also, that option I think should be available also. Yes, uh, once you complete that, the next thing obviously will be biometrics and um, your uh, facial recognition for facial photograph. So, and after that, uh, if you apply under a standard uh, pro process, uh, it will take uh, at least 15 days and it may take up to four weeks also uh, it is again subject to change and uh, if you apply in the priority service you can get your visa in uh, within a week within five days actually so i hope uh, i was of some help thank you